Hello everyone, because after my last video you were left like your route around on the fritz during a porn binge and appealing to passing pilots for even so much as a reach around has been futile, I've come back to your rescue with some tissues and sandpaper. If you followed my last set of instructions you should be at least sitting somewhere in a cold and dark aircraft. So in this episode of 4 Minute Falcon I'm teaching you how to start the F-16 and get all the systems up and running. This is an abridged startup, I'm not covering systems that have no real function in the sim. We begin by finding the power switch and setting it to battery. We set the master light switch to norm and wing tail and fuselage to on. The lights won't come on until the generators supply power. Next we set the engine fuel feed to norm. You may perform the various tests on the test panel if you wish but they're only cosmetic. Now we'll move up to the comms panel, set the main knob to both by clicking it twice. Turn on COM1 with the first click, the next clicks will adjust the volume. Do exactly the same with COM2, adjusting the volume to suit your own taste. Ensure both of the lower knobs giggity are set to squelch. Make sure the INS knob is turned up. Close the canopy using the little switch above the spider. Set the air source which is hidden away on the right to norm. Take note of the position of the throttle idle cut off. Set the main power switch to power, then right click on the start switch to select start 2. At this point you should be watching the RPM gauge. After a little practice it becomes Pavlovian. As always we're not doing this because of some latent RPM gauge fetish. We're waiting for it to spool up to 20%. As soon as it hits 20% push the throttle forward about halfway, then click the idle cutoff switch. You'll hear an audible click when the switch is activated, however it's best to set it to a button on your HOTAS. Wait about 3 or 4 seconds, then start gently easing the throttle back to idle. You'll notice the RPM needle start to move as the engine comes online. When the start process is well underway, the engine start switch will turn itself off. You'll also notice the landing gear indicator will light up as the generator and electrical systems begin to come online. Turn on your panel and instrument lights, then set your exterior lighting from steady to flash. Also turn your anti-collision lights on. And if you're a total spurg, you'll check to make sure they're working, even though it's a sim and they've always worked before. Now we'll shoot across to avionics, turn on the MMC, STSTA, MFD, UFC, GPS and DL. Set the INS knob to align norm. Move up to the sensor panel and turn on the FCR. Set the radar altimeter to standby. To avoid cocking the ground crew, you don't turn it all the way on. You additionally power on the hard points on the left. Take a look at the front dash and check to ensure INS alignment has begun. Power on your HUD and increase the brightness using this roller. Sneeze, wipe the snot off your HOTAS and continue the tutorial. In the later blocks INS alignment takes about 4 minutes, but there's enough to do while it's aligning in the background to keep you busy. Next we'll load the data cartridge from the right MFCD. Select DTS and then select load. Loading is extremely quick, usually between 5 and 10 seconds. Next we want to clear out the faults on the test bit. Select test on the right MFCD. Check the warning panel to ensure it's only avionics and IFF and then go back up and hit clear. Check the panel again to make sure the faults are clear. At the top of the left dash click fault acknowledge and then clear the master caution. Turn radio to UFC and switch on the ECM toggle switch. On the left bottom of the front dash power on the threat warning auxiliary system. Power on the missile warning system, jammer and radar warning system. Power on the countermeasure banks. Apparently only 3 and 4 work, but there's no harm in powering on 1 and 2 also. Operate the speed brake, checking to make sure it fully opens and closes. When open you'll see a series of dots. When closed, the word closed will appear. Make sure it's fully closed before continuing, then set the mode as desired on the countermeasures knob. Go to the RWR panel, press system test, and when the test completes, press the missile launch test. Press handover when you're satisfied everything's working. The navigation system has fully aligned, set the mode to NAV. Select COM1 on the UFC, enter an unused channel number and press enter. Press COM1 again, enter tower frequency and press enter. Set the parking brake, press T, get shocks removed, get and set QFE. Don't forget to turn off your parking brake and on your nose wheel steering before going anywhere. Starting the F-16 is a little like delegating your GIMP to assemble a love swing from Ikea. If a step is missed or omitted, you can be left with your dick swinging in the breeze and bugger all available by way of support. Next time I'm covering navigation, I thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.